Now, you know I'm very political, but I want to put politics to one side, and if there's one thing that excites me even more than politics, it's data. Now, obviously, I'm just a dumb bloke wandering around a TV set every single evening for you, but there are people whose whole life is about data, and there's one bloke in particular who's not political, is a data man, who's got some pretty good insights into what happened at this most recent election. Luke Metcalf is his name. He's from a business called Microburbs. Want to get that nice and right. Thank you for joining us, mate. Thank you very much. Now, I've read uh, people surmising what you have been able to find out of the election. Um, I don't want to talk about the teals only because it's been overly discussed. But you're able to work out almost booth by booth what happened at this election. Right? Yes, exactly, booth by booth. So uh, the AEC creates great data. Uh, for every single polling booth, uh, I got the primary vote for each candidate and then put them, clustered them together by parties and then looked at how that uh, matched to the demographics of people who lived right near the booths, namely how they filled out the census. Wow. And, uh, yes, what I found is that there are very strong, powerful correlations that go right across the country uh, that correlate to uh, the swings for the various parties. So we saw above average swings in migrant populations. Um, was this uh, something that would be, say, evident in a seat like Benelong, which obviously had gone from Liberal to Labor? Were there, were there parts of the country where that was particularly profound? Uh, I didn't look at individual seats, so I'm not an Anthony Green, <laughs> but uh, I, uh, I certainly saw that it wasn't a, a city versus regional thing. So you saw similar correlations regardless. So the swing uh, in the capital cities against the coalition was 10%, but in the top third of the most migrant non-capital city part of Australia, regional Australia, uh, the swing was 8% against them. So uh, from my point of view, looking at things from a polling booth, a more granular point of view, I saw, I saw much more uh, demographics that were consistent across the country, uh, even state by state, you saw similar patterns. So what was, what was say, uh, a particular area that swung really aggressively towards Labor? of what you were able to work Yeah, so Labor obviously overall um, suffered a swing against them as well, much smaller, uh, but uh, miners. Uh, so uh, where there were 43 miners near a polling booth, right near a polling booth, uh, they actually got a swing towards them of 1.5%, uh, whereas the rest of the country, this is primary vote swing as of the Sunday morning anyway, the data's a bit updated since then, uh, uh, it was 3.5% um, against so all up, they were 5% ahead in the, the mining seats. Right, OK. Um, yeah. and, and, then, and then, again, for the coalition, the things that, that went towards them, uh, we pointed it out before, that it's people who, who haven't gone to university, um, uh, were born here, maybe don't have a, a, an, ethnic, an ethnic heritage in the past, you know, parents or grandparents. That was, the, that was a group that moved toward the former government? Uh, in Tasmania, yes, so Australian ancestry people. So it's people who said that their ancestry was Australian and both their parents were born in Australia. Uh, they actually swung to the coalition. Uh, if I remember correctly, that was uh, 3%. So bucking the national trend massively. So if people want to read more about this, they can all Google your name, but uh, how do they find out more about your business and about the particular findings that you had? Yeah, microburbs, uh, usually used by property seekers, uh, all kinds of suburb reports, demographics and real estate data, microburbs.com.au. Good stuff. Thank you, Luke. Again, I always love uh, insight that is data. I do appreciate it. Thank you, mate. Thank you very much. We'll, we'll, we'll rejoin again and have longer to chat about it into the future.